Hey guys, how's it going? Base here back with another video. I'm going to show you guys how to switch back and forth to different EVE clients um, in EVE Online without, you know, having to alt tab and just so you can kind of monitor monitor them a little bit better, you know, while maybe multitasking on a different game or if you just have a lot of accounts. And I'm going to show you guys what that looks like on my other screen here. So all I have to do here is just click this and then it um, switches my focus tab. That's all I was doing here. So also if you want to play another game and have these in the background, maybe you just want to sit on a hole or mine or something, you can do this. So it's a um, <clears throat> pretty simple install. So all you have to do is go um, in your browser, eTaco. It should be this first one here, Scourge, the multi-client viewer. Go here and download the direct download. Let me switch back to the main screen. Once you get that download, go ahead and minimize this, drag it to your desktop, open this up, and again, drag it to your desktop. I'm not gonna replace it, so we're gonna skip this, because <clears throat> I already have it. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and mute that, because I don't need that. So, <clears throat> you're gonna open this up and drag it to your desktop, and once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and open it. Once it opens up and then you open up your EVE launcher, you should see both the both the client names and then you can go through here and let me bring these over here just to show you a little bit better. Just gonna mute these. There we go, much better. So once this comes up, you can go through your different settings. This is how I have mine. <clears throat> track client locations preview is always on top because you can have one screen here and then like the preview in the corner but i have mine set up like this and you can always resize them and whatnot but uh if you have multiple monitors it's better to do them like this preview is always on top thumbnail you know you can have them thin if you're running other stuff in the background that you want to see or maybe you're watching even a video and you notice something you're like oh hey what's that i keep mine the opacity just fully up here. You can also change the thumbnail height and width. You can have it zoom. It's better if it's in the bottom, like, or if it's in one of the corners when you're playing. The zoom um, can be a little better, and you can change the zoom factor. Next, the overlay. I have mine highlight which one is um, the current window being used. Next, the active clients. You can select the active client you want. If you deselect both of them, they both should um, pop up here. And then that's pretty simple. That's how I run mine. And you can always minimize this to system tray if you want when you close it. But again, so if you're out doing other stuff or maybe you wanna, you know, browse Google while you're doing this and you notice somebody pop up on you, you can always switch back and forth like that. So that's pretty much that. Hopefully you guys, um, <clears throat> hopefully this helps some of you out. It's a pretty quick and simple video. So if you guys do have any questions, let me know. You know, all the links will be in the description. And uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.